was it ever a problem last year when maybe you weren't seeing as much of the field? Um, as you no, I wouldn't say during the season my confidence ever went down at all. When I when I first got here, winter workouts, my confidence was kind of down a little bit. But once once we started playing football, football is just football, and I've, I've been doing this for a long time, so I'm always confident in what I can do. Can you explain that, the winter workouts, why, why it was so difficult? I was, I was just losing every drill. I wasn't used to losing, so, yeah, that kind of got to me a little bit, but past that now. What, what pushed you past that? I mean, was there, did you have to have kind of an internal conversation with yourself or was it was it a little less uh, intense than that? Uh, it, it wasn't an internal conversation. It was just more of, this is what college is. Like everybody's good, everybody's strong, fast. So yeah, just, it wasn't high school anymore. The confidence that you've shown out there as a punt returner, how much has that translated into being a receiver as well because it looks like there's like an extra little burst in your step. Yep, um, just being able to get on the field every game, I would say, and touch the ball. Um, that helps with when I get in at receiver, just knowing that like I'm, I'm supposed to be out here and I can just show what I can do. So, yeah. Okay, you've been playing catch with Drew for years now, going back to Ohio. Is, is there anything that you've seen here on campus together that surprised you about him and, and who he's becoming in any way? Um, I would just say his total arm strength in general. He can throw the ball 70 yards if he wanted to. Um, and just the, the different arm angles he can throw throw at or throw with. Um, he's been doing that since high school, so it's, it's nothing new. But just to see him continue to do that on this level is, is good. What's your process as a punt returner when you go out there and you're waiting for the punter to send the ball your way? Is there, is there kind of a step-by-step -step thing? Is it all instinctual? Um, what's your way to process that in the moment? Um, I, I normally I look where the where the bullets are, and then from there I'm just watching the watching the ball, and then as soon as the punter kicks it off his foot, just get a good jump on it, and then sprint to the spot. Coach Coach Hagens likes to tell sprint to the spot, keep your shoulders square, and then secure the catch. And then ball security is job security, so ball security is a big thing. What's it been like to work alongside Liam Clifford? You guys are similar type of receivers being out of the slot. How do you guys make each other better? Yeah, uh, we we compete every day. Um, Coach Higgins has been big on that within the both of us, just pushing each other to get better every day and uh, what we bring to the receiver room. Um, yeah, so just competing with Liam and and seeing him make plays and him seeing me make plays is good for both of us, and we're happy for, for each other. You mentioned facing some of that rugby-style punting from Riley. Is that something you're preparing for this week? And they have one of the premier punters in the country. What do you see from him and maybe being that weapon? Because I know Iowa likes to say he is a weapon for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, Iowa, we respect their program. Um, they're big on special teams. They, they take that seriously over there. So yeah, this, this punter's good. Uh, he he punts it from the pocket and as well as rugby. So I'm gonna be ready for both. But yeah, whatever whatever he does, I'll, I'll be ready for it. Do you feel like Riley has prepared you though for this particular encounter with this particular punter? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And we we've we faced a couple punters that have rugbyed already this season. So yeah, I'm used to it from Riley in practice as well as the previous games. What's the leadership like in the wide receiver room, and how have those guys kind of helped you through that last year, maybe where you had to adjust to the college game? Yeah, the leadership's good. Uh, Dre's taking a, a bigger role this year. Liam, Liam's a great leader for our group, um, as well as Trey. So those those three guys really stepped up. Malik Mega as well. Um, yeah, they're they're always just pushing, pushing. We're all pushing each other. They were pushing me a lot over the summer because they know what I can what I can bring to the group. So yeah, just them bringing that out of me, I really appreciate it. The way your defense played last week, you guys honestly didn't really have to do much offensively, just manage the game. How excited are you about the challenge of an Iowa team to, to kind of really show people like, this can be an explosive offense, we can do whatever we want against anybody? Yeah, um, that, that's our mindset every week. Um, we know what we can do. It's just a matter of, matter of going out and executing at a high level. Um, so yeah, as long as we do our job and be where we're supposed to be, then it should be fun on Saturday. 
Iowa's defensive backfield is very good when it comes to zone coverage. So in Penn State, they've shown that the wide receivers are very good against man coverage, but going up against an Iowa defense that runs a lot of zone, what's kind of, as a wide receiver, that anticipation and knowing your assignments, what's kind of the biggest challenge to move from a man, to seeing man coverage a lot to now zone? Uh, yeah, our, our D squad does a great job throughout the week of giving us good looks. And the playing against zone, it's all about timing and spacing within concepts, so that, that's going to be a big, big emphasis throughout this game to make sure Drew's comfortable with where we're going to be at, when. Um, so yeah, it's really just timing and spacing going to get zone. Hey, kid. Appreciate it.